Hey guys, some things don't change. One of the things that doesn't change is my ability to create chaos in a relatively short period of time. <laughs> I'm back in the basement and I finished my Etsy room. Thank you to everyone who's purchased stuff from the Etsy shop and supporting my small business. Truly appreciated. Your stuff is already in the mail. By the way, by the time you watch this, you probably received it already. Um, so I'm in the basement and it's a big to do. Okay. So what happened is that of course I had that project, but I'm also in the middle, if you recall, of transitioning the living room and sold the two side cabinets. So I had to find room <laughs> for the stuff that was in those cabinets, those curio cabinets. I have one little curio that I found that turns out to be way too small just for the uranium glass, but everything else is downstairs. I had to bring it to the sewing table and it's been there in partial storage or temporary storage for quite some time. And I wasn't going to be able to move it somewhere else until that room was done. So it's kind of like a process. Things have to happen and be put in place first in order for me to be able to tackle certain areas. I'm still shuffling stuff left and right. That's okay. I don't mind. It's just that gardening season is over. You probably noticed that there wasn't videos uh, in the past two weeks. It's been raining nonstop. I haven't been able to plant the new stuff that I received from Jackson Perkins. It's still on the front porch because it's raining and you probably saw uh, videos of New York City and New Jersey. We've been flooded. Not here, but we've been flooded. So I haven't gardened at all, but I said once the gardening season is over, I'm going back into the quilting and the sewing season. And in order for me to do that, I got to clear that table. That's why the Etsy shop happened so that I have now room in the laundry room to put that stuff in storage until I find a better solution for upstairs. It's all very convoluted. I know it's a lot of shuffling around, um, but let me give you a tour. You'll get an idea. I'm going to talk to you about what I plan on doing and then I'll get started. I'm going to time myself because band competition is upon us and we have a band competition this afternoon. We got to be there living around six. I'm going to work uh, four hours. Okay. So timer is on four hours. Let's get started. So yes, it's bad. And quite frankly, uh, you know, what am I going to do? All right. It is bad. I have no excuse. Um, other than managing a bazillion things at the same time, uh, business wise, you name it. So I have all the boxes that need to be brought to the garage. They got to go on the um, curb. I have the uh, uh, tube here and the portable air conditioner that was removed from the dining room. It's down here now. This is all the stuff that was in those curios plus some. Uh, the stuff at the bottom, I'll talk about it in a minute. Uh, there's still some material here, uh, more stuff, okay, over here. This part here, I had actually, hi the sheaf, I had actually cleaned it and then um, made a big mess again. Those cardboard boxes, they need to go to the curb. We got tools, we got this thing that needs to be put in storage. Uh, Edward's laptop, we got this. Now the room is done, I want to show you uh, the room. Because I've been working and you saw that I posted a whole bunch of stuff. Um, the room, you can see I'm keeping it clean. This is the little additional light um, that I purchased. Here you go. Hold on. Let me turn it on. There you go. It's like it's a mini ring light, right? And I just basically clip it right here and uh, shine it that way. Um, this is the item I'm planning on doing today because uh, I do one item a day and then I post seven a week basically it's an otogiri I've had it for ages um spoon rest from the 80s with a little cat on it okay so you can tell stuff has started to move right but anyway we're not here for that uh we're here for this <laughs> 
So I got about four hours and I'm just gonna get started. So first things first, I need to actually remove um, or turn off the power in this room because I have a light bulb here that came off its um, socket and I need to remove it so I can put a new light. Things I'd like to do, obviously move everything to the laundry room. Um, I know I'm moving fast, I'm sorry. Um, because I now have this shelf that is pretty much empty. So everything that's on the table is going to go um, in the laundry room. So I want to do that. And then, including this. And um, I want to empty out this whole area, just keep what we need. Really clean the floor, put the tiles the castaway tiles, remember, I want to put them there. Um, once that's clean, I want to kind of declutter around and then I need to do uh, this area here, put everything back where they belong. That's where I'm at. Because again, sewing season is upon us. And you know, for those of you who really enjoyed um, the uh, gardening videos and that style of video where I don't talk. I know that some of you enjoy that. Um, I'm planning on doing the same thing with quilt. I'm going to do a quilt. Uh, that's part of my goals for the year. I'm going to put a picture right here. It's a uh, dragonfly quilt. It's all applique, which is really out of my comfort zone, but I'm going to push myself and do it anyway. Um, don't care if it looks good or not. I need to learn to do applique, so I'm going to teach myself how to. And I'm going to do a whole series. I'm, I'll probably just quilt an hour or two per week, just enough for a little video. And it's going to be more like an ASMR type video, you know, very light music, but all the sounds and me not talking, which will be a nice break, I believe, for me and for you. So uh, first things first, the light bulb, because I can barely see anything in here. Um, I really need to take care of that. I know this content is absolutely thrilling. Okay, so you see how I have light over there that's the old basement light and this is new basement light the light bulb came out of its socket i don't know how but it did you hear it okay here we go i got the socket so while I was at it, I actually changed all the light bulbs. <laughs> uh, that's the socket. The whole thing came out. It's weird. What brand is this? I think this Silvana. We bought like a big box and um, no good. Anyway, all right. 17 minutes in. <sighs> Let's get going. Uh, now that I have this, I'm gonna move everything that's there onto the shelf. So what I got left is stuff that's currently, uh, not this, but this is stuff that's currently on sale on the Facebook marketplace, including, shocker, my two lanterns. Yes, I did put them up for sale. So this stuff, I got to figure out where I'm going to put it while um, it's waiting. Now, 
I got this at the bottom. I got to find room for it. These are glasses that I found at the thrift store. Um, the German. There's 12 of them, but one of them has a chip at the base. So I don't know if I'm going to just scratch two. And I'm also decluttering, so I need to find me a big box. I have one over there where I'm just going to put stuff up. Uh, like, for instance, I had found those. Uh, they were on the street on a chandelier that was broken. And I pulled those out thinking, hey, you know what? Maybe I'll replace um, some lights that I have. I was thinking about the... Um, three lights that I have on the fan in the kitchen. Turns out it doesn't fit, they're too large. So I'm stuck with them now. Um, I'm just gonna donate them. So I was gonna do a donate box. Uh, and then, I don't know what to do with this. Um, it's not a real one. donate I'll put it to donation um, all right so let me finish this oh wait I got more stuff that needs to go into the shop here's a shocker um, well these two I had found on the street they've been pots okay they're really nice I could use them as planters but how many different planters do I need the red wing bean pots but they're missing the tops so I'm going to donate them. Somebody will be happy. Uh, these two found on the street. I was going to sell them. It's too much work. I want to only sell stuff that's really worth it. Uh, all right, this one. How many times have you seen me drag this thing? Okay. For years, years, I'm looking for the matching ball. I can't find the matching ball. It's really cool. It's from 1865 or 1855, something like that. Um, Charles Mink in England, Royal Ironstone, Ironstone, China. It's got so much crazy. I really, really like this, but what am I supposed to do with this thing? Okay. Um, I did pay for it though. <laughs> You know what? I'm going to put it up for sale on, the, on Etsy. Let me bring it to the... Uh, because somebody, I'm sure, will want it. Um, I'm pretty much done. Then i got to put the heavy stuff at the bottom. This thing. Uh, if you're on Patreon, you know what it is. If you're on YouTube, you've never seen it before. This is uh, the most ridiculous thing I ever received. <laughs> for review and it just didn't pan out okay so i'm going to tell you about it uh, because i'm keeping it i'm still waiting on the company this is like a uh, uh what do they call it thermomix i think it's a, a kitchen robot this thing will do everything for you in one place like you, you follow the recipe it's got an ipad in the front and then you just keep adding your ingredients it will chop them stir them um um uh, need whatever and then you keep adding ingredient with the right temperature it's like all electronic and and then once it's done you just pull out the pot and your dish is made it sounds great right okay so but it's huge it's by kitchen idea and and it's got like you can see it's got like an ipad in the front and it came with a whole bunch of accessories so that's the steamer right and then the pot is right here with the look at this thing okay this thing is over a thousand dollars. All right, so the company sent it to me, which is great. And I was really excited about it. And Scott and I started doing a video. It's got a cup measure and it's like an all-in-one. It does the whole thing for you. Yeah, okay. Um, here's the problem with it. We started it and then it's got over a thousand recipes in it, which is awesome. The problem is that they were all Chinese recipes. Not written in Chinese, they were all written in English, but they all Chinese food. So I reached out to the company and I told them, listen, um, it comes with a ton of accessories. Like this is 
that's the kneading thing it's it's oh and then that's the cleaning brush it's it cleans itself it's it's like amazing okay um can make pasta like dough for pasta anyway so I, I contacted them and I said to them listen I don't mind doing this but I don't know how I'm gonna sell it on an American market it's all Chinese recipes and they were like no no we have American recipes and I said yeah I looked at them it's four there's like four American recipes one was uh, barbecue ribs and then the other one was uh, um, one was a beef stroganoff or something like that and the rest was desserts and I said I'm not gonna be able to sell that you gotta have more American recipes and they were just like kind of puzzled and, and I said well you know not for anything but I'm very privileged in my area that I have access to Asian food I have Asian supermarkets so if this thing asks for chicken feet and um, you know bok choy or a whole bunch of different vegetables like Chinese radish and and um, lemongrass you name it right I have access to it it's not it's like not even 20 minutes I have between a Korean and a Chinese supermarket I have access to all of that so for me it's not an issue I can make all the food but for the average American I explained to them like people in the middle of Missouri for instance they're not gonna have access to all this stuff um, to make the food and then are they gonna spend twelve hundred I think it's fourteen hundred dollars are they gonna spend fourteen hundred dollars to make Chinese food twice a year three times a year so I encourage them to like look at the campaign again and 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 this says they came back to me about two weeks later it says you're right uh, we're rushing this we'll get back to you by the end of August we're talking this was in May okay we'll get back to you at the end of August we'll have at least 200 more recipes or American food it's today is the last day in September I'm still waiting <laughs> so I have this thing um, I think eventually it's gonna make its way upstairs because like I said Scott and I have access to the uh, uh, Asian produce and Asian food so we can use it but I can't review it I mean you guys are not gonna be interested in that so anyway I'm gonna put it at the bottom shelf uh, because I gotta put it somewhere um, I personally love Korean and, and Asian food in general so I'm very happy to have this I just can't review it because there's no market for it not yet so I'm waiting for them to bring American recipes hasn't happened yet so we'll see I'm making progress I can almost feel the sewing <laughs> happening okay let me show you where I'm at in the other rooms so all my stuff has been moved here and then whatever is on the Facebook marketplace is here and then the robot and my dehydrator are here I'm, I'm uh, making progress I'm gonna ask Edward to come downstairs and he's gonna take the stuff that needs to be in the garage in the garage that's all the cardboard boxes that have to be on um, the curb on Thursday and once that's done I'll do some more decluttering uh, putting things back where they belong and then thorough cleaning it's not taking as long as I thought it was going to take uh, we are an hour and five minutes into it all right how about I do a uh, 27 flame boogie right uh, garbage bag it's two three four five I can't do the candles anymore. They make me sick. Six. I'll put that up for sale this week. Uh, let me see, what's this? Don't make that seven. At some point, I gotta clean that again. Um, I keep that box. That goes back to the laundry. I've decided I'm gonna donate those. 
section. 11. This needs to go upstairs. 12. This gotta go back on the wall. Upstairs. I'm not gonna count that or that. Where am I at? 11? Oh, it's getting hard. Okay, these need to be washed. Okay, here's 13, but that's gonna be a donate. Already put the uh, cushions in the wash. Uh, 14, it's a uh, mold armor bottle from the Dollar Tree. It broke. Okay, what's this? Remember, these I decided not to uh, use them. So, they're gonna go in the box and I'm gonna sell them on the marketplace. So we're gonna consider that 15 and this little box here, I'm keeping for shipping. These I found on the street, I have zero use for them. So that's, uh, what is this, 15, 16 and 17, donate box. 18 is going to be all the leftovers from the castaway tiles. Um, from this box, I have two left, and then I have the box upstairs. So I have 14 tiles that I'm gonna use for the middle. Edward is already moving the stuff upstairs for me. So what is that, 18? Okay. 19 is a bunch of brushes and pads from those scrubbers. Remember the scrubbers that I thought were just okay? I'm never gonna use them again, so that can go. Where am I at, 19? Okay. Oh, six more items. Oof. Okay, these are keep. This is a keep. 20. I can't really donate that, the dog chewed on it. 21. Dog chewed on it. Here's 22. Twenty-four. I absolutely will never use this. I won't use it. Um, you know, you go through phases in terms of decor, and I had like this primitive phase. It was just a phase, and uh, guess what? We're gonna donate it. That was a street find as well, right? I can't even remember. Um, how many times have you seen me move this stuff, right? And I'm never satisfied with where I put it. You know why? Because <laughs> I don't really um, like love it. I, mean, I kind of like it. It's the kind of stuff you like seeing at other people's place or, you know, on the internet. But do you need it in your house? No. So that's a donate. Here's another shaka. How many years have you seen this? This is a tile. Uh, by R.C. Gorman and you know it's my favorite artist I love R.C. Gorman this was grandma's um, to be honest I grabbed it at the last minute when we emptied the house um, I've never known what to do with it I could have it framed um, but I much prefer the actual artwork this is just um, a print I don't think yeah this is a print on, uh, on tile this is not an actual piece of work by him so I'm gonna put it on Etsy, you know? So that's my item number 27. I successfully completed, scratch that. <clears throat> 28, this is a street find. I'm gonna put it up on Etsy. It's a uh, needle point. Some people collect those. Uh, that's professionally framed of butterfly. Now, if it was dragonflies, I would keep it, but it's butterfly. So these two I'm going to put on Etsy, and I just successfully completed a 27. Fling Boogie, it's three something. I started at 1.30, so I've been at it for an hour and a half, 90 minutes. Um, I'm going to pull out the carpet cleaner. 
with the upholstery handle thing and I'm gonna clean the sofa. The urine destroyer, but not because the dogs pee on the sofa, but just because it really removes any scent. That's uh, potentially sticking up the whole room. All right, we push that, and I have to go and get my uh, mop. I'm gonna turn on the uh, dehumidifier, um, but seasonally, not a bad idea. I know you're dying to see the water. Here you go. Hmm, that's the sofa. Um, can't even see through it. <laughs> Well, everything's been clean, um, and it's reset, which is good. What I'm going to do is open that one box uh, from Costway, and I'm going to install those foam tiles, and I'm going to put them um, by the sofa right here, because it's cold in here. Um, well, the floor is cold, and when I say cold, I'm talking 65, 66 degrees. For me, it's cold in the winter. Most people don't mind, uh, but for me, it's cold. I, I like more like a 72, but the floor radiates cold. That's the problem. If you have your feet up, you don't feel it. I mean, you know, I'm here sewing all the time in the winter. It's not a problem. Um, you tired? You get room now, right? Okay. They like the floor, actually, because it is um, colder. So, let me install those tiles. Uh, all together I got 14. I just don't know how I'm going to put them together. We'll see. And again, they're the same ones that I put in the um, Etsy shop. I do 
one, two, You're going to love this, that's going to be good for your arthritis. Three. Okay, but hold on. <laughs> I know, but you got to give me a minute. Four. Let's move it a little bit more like this. Okay, okay, hold on. Hey, wait. Like this. All right. Okay. Oh, this is great. Well, folks, um, the Costway tiles are dog approved. Um, <laughs> I can get them off of the uh, mat. So I thought I had 14. I actually had 13. The 14th one I had cut. Um, so what I'm probably going to do is order more because I would like to go all the way under the sofa and then I would like to go to this area here. Um, I know I could move it and not worry about it. I'm going to have to make a haul. Um, but for now, this is what I got. And it's really comfortable. It's comfortable to step on. And it's going to make a difference. At least for the kids uh, when they're here and they play video games. Um, you know, watching TV, whatnot. So I finished the uh, basement. It's reset. It's been dusted, vacuumed, mopped several times. My sewing station is ready for me to resume. My sewing table is waiting for me to resume. I'm going to leave those here. I said I was going to move them, but... Yes, the shirt. I'm, I'm going to finish it. All right. It's ridiculous that I even think about finishing it because this is about two sizes too big now. And we're entering fall and it's a three-quarter sleeves, but whatever. Uh clean the stairs but yep here's the basement and I am done let me say goodbye it's hard you know to watch them grow old um, she's having a hard time she can't keep her leg it keeps on sliding You like sliding again. <laughs> Your leg is sliding. <laughs> um, it is almost five o'clock. So three and a half hours. I said I was going to work four. I estimated right. Um, it's reset. 
between the room over there and this. We're good. I'm ready for sewing season. I'm excited. Um, I'm excited about all my hobbies. That's basically the bottom line. It feels good. That sofa needs to uh, dry. I'm just going to turn on the um, dehumidifier. It actually dries very fast. By tomorrow morning, I'll be done. Uh, so you don't have to worry about, you know, the smell of mildew or anything. It will dry. Um, because the machine sucks all the water. What you get is just like the surface stuff. So that will dry. And um, that's about it. So mission accomplished. I came in today, said to myself, I'm going to film one video as an early access. And it's going to be me resetting the entire basement. I actually thought it was going to be me coming in twice um, just for one video because I didn't think I was going to be able to finish it. But I did, and it's 5 o'clock, so now I'm going to put on some warm clothes, have a cup of tea, and we're checking out. We're going to Randolph, New Jersey, for the marching band competition, and I'll put the um, their performance at the end. So if you want to watch Willie and his band, this is actually the first real competition. They've been doing it publicly before at the football game, but the one from last week was canceled due to weather. It's going to be chilly. It's not going to be great. It may rain. So I got to get, you know, all sorts of protective gear. Um, I shouldn't say that and complain. The kid's going to be marching in the rain if it rains. But they, uh, you know, they, they're used to it, I guess. Um, and they're moving. It's different. When you're sitting in uh, the stadium for three hours, it gets old. But anyway, it's their first one, so first public appearance of Willie's Marching Band coming up at the end of this video. And that would be it, so thumbs up if you liked. Um, since this is going to be an early access, subscribe right here in the corner for uh, YouTube. And then uh, check me out on Facebook and Instagram at My Great Challenge. This video was on Patreon first, probably two weeks prior to me posting it on YouTube. So if you want to check out uh, Patreon for exclusive content, unlike this video, I rarely do early accesses. I only do them when I know I'm pressed for time. And since it's marching band season, I can only do one video on Saturday instead of two. So I, I have to do early accesses for the month of October. So that's one of them. But the rest of the year is pretty much all exclusive content. You can check it out here. Patreon.com slash my great challenge and the Etsy shop is rebooted up and running um, Post office run was done today with six items at the door. I will post every week seven items um, I Gotta work on those shelves and probably do thrift with thrift with me videos more often now since the stuff <laughs> It's not going to be on my shelf for nine months until you finally get to see it in the shop. Um, so that would be it. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, share it. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.